So I've done the 100 days challenge a few times, and after 100, I'm like, you know what? I already beat the challenge, so there's nothing left for me to do. But I don't think that I've ever tried to go as long as I can in this game. 100 shouldn't even be something that I stop at. It should be something that I start at. So I want to see how long I actually go in this game. I think I know the strategy that I'm going to do. Hopefully I can one-take J this, and let's see how long I can last. If you guys cool that you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up! Because here we go! So I'm doing this one on the easiest difficulty because it doesn't matter what mode I do this on. I just have to survive for as many days as I can. I need to turn Mary Jane into a mutant though. I can't one take J this if she doesn't turn into a mutant because she's so OP. And then I don't know if I should bring the kids. Well, the kid because I definitely need to bring Mary Jane. Timmy might be the guinea pig. I'll send him out a couple times and if he dies, he dies. I'm going to need to fight off raiders because you know when they start coming, they never stop. So I need all the protection that I can get. So, let me get the flashlight, let me get the book, let me get uh, this and that. And on easy mode, you actually get a few supplies even if you don't grab them. So, if I don't grab a few things, you know what? I'll be alright. Everything's gonna be a-okay. I definitely need that though. Because if the raiders come, that can help me out twice. And I will get you. Thank you very much. What else do I need? What else do I need? Um, I definitely need Mary Jane. And a bottle of that water. What else do I need? Oh, I'm so ass. I am not gonna get that. I'm not gonna get that. Okay. I was gonna get the checkerboard. Kobe. But I bitched out last second. Let's see how many days I can actually survive. Day one. What did that person say? A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step or some bullshit like that. But we got cards, we got a radio, and we got an axe, baby. Let's get to it. But it's day three, and the first scavenge we are gonna do is with Timmy. And I'm not sending him out with the gas mask, because like I said, if he dies, he dies, okay? Nobody's safe in this bitch. But it says, spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they all have the same rights to the shelter as we do. They're everywhere and don't seem very scared of us. It's time we change that. We don't want any more spiders in our soup, no sir. No, we don't want any more spiders, but drum roll, please! Brrrr, you Mary Jane? Yeah. Psych! What the hell? We didn't think we would get a chance to increase our food supply by simply playing a card game, but that's what we offered by a man who knocked on our door today. Two cans of food. We win, we get his two cans. We lose, we give him our two cans. Are we gonna do it? I don't think that we can survive as long as we can without doing a little bit of risk taking. So let me see if I actually got two cans. Yeah, I lost two cans. I thought this was easy mode. This is harder than a calculus test. This doesn't make any sense, everybody. I am taking L's on L's, and this is supposed to be the easiest mode. And it's day eight. It says, as we are about to start our book club discussion on the only book we've all read, the phone book, we were interrupted by rapid knocking at the door. We found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. They were doing much worse than us. Well, you're going to do even more worse because I'm not giving you anything. So get out of here. And a group of people dressed in green pajamas knocking on our hatch is not something that we anticipated. Yet, this is exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted they are merry men and wish to take from the rich and give to the poor. We're pretty poor, so maybe we could make some new friends. Should we let them in? I'm broke as a joke, everybody. I don't have anything at all. And Timmy came back. Did they steal from me? Or did they give me more things? Timmy came back and he's sick. They took my axe and the cards. But then Timmy brought back an axe and some water and stuff. Okay, I'll give him some of that. And nobody can scavenge. This sucks. Day 19. It's been a while since we showered. The smell in the tiny shelter is as far from roses as it can get. We had thought of washing ourselves. Too bad we didn't grab any soap along the way, but maybe we can make do with something else. Yeah, if you wash your ass with this bug spray, I guess it'll cancel out all the ass that your booty smells like. So maybe that'll just neutralize it. But they look okay, so I'm pretty sure that it worked. And Timmy died, but I really don't give a damn. Let's give them this and prepare to scavenge. And the more we know about what's going on outside, the better for us, okay? I think that's the situation where we know if the fallout outside is gone. So that means we don't need any more, like, gas mask or anything like that. But I think that I'm gonna send out Ted. Because Ted is getting on my damn nerve. Wait a minute, it's only day 28 and there's some people trying to get inside of our bunker? This is a joke! Like, this is supposed to be easy! And Ted's back. He brought back a bunch of stuff. All right, all right. He brought back four soup. Four water and a med kit? Holy crap, dude. I see you. Okay, prepare to scavenge. 
and hear that? Noises coming from below. This is probably the right time to check out the manhole in the corner. You know what? Say less. I get the axe. I chop off whoever's down there. You know, a little slice slice here. A little stab stab there. And we still got the axe. And we also got nothing else. But I'm going to give them some of that. And then I'm going to send out Dolores with nothing else. If she dies, she dies too. Day 33. We're closed off in a tiny shelter, and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. We know there's a group of elderly people, say less. I mean, old people, they're heading towards the pearly gates sooner than later. So we might as well take some of their stuff, right? We got four waters out of that. Can you blame me? Sacrifice a few old people for some water? Anybody would do that, all right? Hear that? It sounds like a herd of animals are stampeding just above our heads, across what used to be our beautiful lawn. I'm just gonna send out Mary Jane. Because for some reason, she's not turning into a mutant. So maybe she'll just get us some supplies. It seemed like she got us more food, I think. She got us three cans of soup. I'm telling you, this is the real deal run right here. But Dolores is back on day 37. I'm actually glad that she's back. And I don't really notice anything new. But she brought back three waters. And that's about it. That's all, folks. I think I'm going to heal her too. Mary Jane used to be cheerful, but lately she is feeling a bit down. She clearly misses her music lessons. She keeps humming her favorite classical pieces, imitating the sound of tuba. She said she would die for a chance to play it again, which may very well happen if we let her out of the shelter. If this would help to bring a smile to her weary face, maybe we should consider letting her out for a short walk around the house above. I'll let her out, but she better come back with a smile on her face because in the history of me playing this game, I have not seen her smile once. She kind of has like that look where she's just like dozing off into space. But she's never once smiled in this damn game. So she better be smiling. Better be smiling, Mary Jane. You better be... She's not smiling. She's not even smiling. She's not smiling so hard that it's pissing me off. Day 46. The other day, we heard a quiet knock on our door. But when we opened, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it's meant for us. Should we check what's inside? I kind of want to check because I kind of want to get more supplies. But I know that if you go on expeditions and try to scavenge for supplies, there's more of a chance that raiders will come back and attack you in your shelter more frequently. So I'm trying not to send these guys out anymore. And I'm not hopeful that Mary Jane will turn into a mutant. I actually might have to just let her die. So I have enough food for Ted and Dolores. Day 49. Someone paid us a visit today. It was an overly cheerful red-haired woman accompanied by a grumpy looking mercenary type who was probably her guard. She told us that she was a traitor and eagerly showed us the items she'd brought along. They offered the padlock for the bug spray and they offered the suitcase for the checkerboard. I think I'm going to do that though because there is actually a few suitcase scenarios where you can get food and you can get water. I think you use the suitcase to like go fishing or whatever and you can actually get some water. So we got that and it's day 50 everybody. So we're halfway to 100 and open in the name of freedom came a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? Yes, because not once have I ever gotten anything bad from this scenario. So hopefully they give us something to protect ourselves, please, for me. They gave us two waters. That's actually really good. I will take that. This is the suitcase scenario. There's a small muddy pond in the park nearby. Too bad we forgot our fishing rod. Perhaps we could try to fish something out of the nasty water using the old suitcase. Yes. And I think that this is a scenario that happens more than once. Because I've gotten it a few times. And we got the bug spray. Yes. Okay, we can use that for protection for the raiders. But I hope that the Boy Scout book can turn into a med kit. But for some reason, the Boy Scout book sucks ass. And I'm going to send out Ted. And hopefully he comes back. If he doesn't, then he's going to die anyway. Day 56. There's a man on our doorstep, and he wants to be our friend. At least that's what he says. He looks harmless, although he seems to have acquired an extra pair of arms as a result of some weird mutation. He assures us we will not get sick and asks us for help. If we could provide him and his group with some supplies, they would repay us by helping us fight off the next raiding party that comes our way. Should we accept his offer? Yes, because that at least helps us survive from one more attack that the raiders come, and they're going to come eventually. I know that they are. But I gave them the soup 
because we can live longer without soup than without water. And it says here that our situation is getting worse every day. We can see the hunger and desperation in each other's eyes. We know a teacher from a local school rescued a bunch of kids when the bomb fell. We also know what kind of supplies are in the school shelter as part of the community. We helped stock it for an emergency, so technically they're ours, right? Should we reclaim them in our hour of need? Sorry if I'm moving real quick, everybody. My ass is itchy, my left butt cheek. But I wanted to get the supplies because they're ours. They're ours just as much as it's theirs. But well, we got four cans of soup and it's day 60 and I think that Ted is dead because I think he's been gone for about a week now, right? Ted is dead? No, he's not dead yet, but he's still out there. We are never huge fans of mushrooms, but with a colony of them growing on one of the walls, we've changed our loyalties. We're all about mushrooms now. Should we eat them? Hell no. I'm pretty sure there's a big likelihood that they're going to get sick from that, right? This one looks interesting because it says that a person is here and she wants to trade. They offer four water for the radio. I don't think that I need the radio, but I do need that water if I'm gonna survive over a hundred plus days. And Ted is back. What did he bring back? He brought back nothing but that attitude and that sass, but he brought back ammo and that's about it. Okay, so I guess I'll give him some of that. And life in the shelter can really put a strain on personal relationships. Privacy is a forgotten, impossible concept now. So even if you wanted to clear the air, well, even the most private conversations are guaranteed an unwanted audience. Dolores and Ted could really use a quiet moment to talk in peace. How about a picnic in a nearby park? I'm going to regret this, but if it cheers up Dolores a little bit, then I did my job. Please. Okay. It looks like nothing happened, but it says nothing like a romantic outing to a ruined post-apocalyptic park complete with giggling and whispering sweet nothings over a shared can of tomato soup. At least that's how Ted remembers it. Dolores is unwilling to comment, but they both feel better today. So clearly whatever happened has lifted their spirits. Good. That's good. Too bad Ted is still sick. Day 73, everybody. Ted grew a beard and he's no longer sick. So that's what I'm talking about. But I'm not going to send anybody out. Mary Jane didn't find anything noteworthy in terms of supplies, but she did have a look at the school registry and found an address of her favorite music teacher. She now insists on paying him a visit. It's a nice older gentleman who might be in need of assistance. In these tough times, it would be a pretty long walk and obviously not the safest. Should we agree to this? Well, I was planning on killing her off anyway, so I'm just going to let her go and that'll save us some food for maybe the next two days. So good luck, Mary Jane, but if you don't come back, it is what it is. Oh, we got water and soup? Yeah, buddy. Oh, wait. Why did she leave? When Mary Jane found out she is not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. She stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that we'll regret this and that she's getting her water one way or another. We are seriously terrified right now. I forgot to give her water and feed her. Holy shit. I'm a bad father. So another salesman just paid us a visit today. They offer one soup for cards, one water for the checkerboard, two soup for the gas mask, and four water for the gun. Let me see if I need anything. I have 13 waters and I have nine cans of soup. I think I should be okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna do the gas mask for the soup because I wanna have as many soup as I have water just in case we don't go anywhere for a while. And on back-to-back -back days, another person came over. Okay, so they offer two waters in exchange for the book and one water in exchange for the flashlight. Okay, um... I guess I'll... No, I don't know. That doesn't sound that good. I don't like these choices. All right, you know what? We're going to go with one water for the cards. But I don't want to give up my flashlight or the Boy Scout book. We could get more water or more food in like a different scenario, probably. I think that person was trying to lowball us. Day 82. We had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other while his companion was pretending to ride said horse. They claimed to be on a very important quest to seek some magical cup, only they lost their way in the wasteland. They asked permission to have a quick look at our map to determine their whereabouts. Well, don't mind if we do, because I think that they're actually going to give me something useful. Please be a medkit or a padlock or something. Nothing? I think they probably just gave me more soup and water. They gave me a checkerboard. Okay, beggars can't be choosers. Oh no, a band of raiders are at our doorstep. Okay, let's use that. Let's play some sweet nothings into their ear. Hopefully burst their eardrums and they die a horrible death and never come back. I doubt it, but you know, one man can hope. But they're gonna be back soon. 
They're going to be back soon. We know that, everybody. So this is what it's come down to. Sitting idly in the shelter with very few supplies and a growing sense of impending doom. If only there was something we could do about it, like breaking into our neighbor's shelter. We know the lock is broken and we saw her restock in the shelter before the bomb fell. Should we go and check it out? She and her children probably didn't make it in there, right? Yeah, they're barbecue chicken! Once the bomb fell, chicken tenders! Please tell me that's true or I'm gonna feel horrible. I think we found ammo. Yeah, we got ammo. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take a little bit of ammo. They offer cards for the suitcase, and they offer the gas mask for a radio? Nah. Sometimes a sudden urge to play an instrument takes over us, to create beautiful sounds to be shared with the world around us, to sing and play and have cute, mutated animals come to our feet to listen, like a post-apocalyptic Snow White, shall we? I don't know what the fuck that even means, but you know what? Let's just do it. Because at this point, we're just going to have all these random scenarios play out. And yes, these cockroaches, I think they're the audience. But we're just going to let them do their thing, okay? Because I'm just trying to get any supplies right now. And there's more raiders. There's more raiders coming. Okay, let's use the axe this time. And then we only have the gun. And then I think that the people are going to fight off the next raiding party, right? And then I'm screwed. Day 89. At breakfast, we heard a knock on our door. It was a man with a rather excessive number of arms. He had told us his group was having a hard time finding supplies. Wherever they'd go, they got shot at first sight and asked questions later. It's probably because of their appearance. The friendly mutant presented us with an offer. In exchange for some supplies, his folks would escort us on our next expedition and make sure we come back home safely. I am doing that all day, every day, because Dolores is sick. She looks like she's about to die. I need to get back with some supplies and hopefully get something that can protect me from the raiders, or else we are so screwed. And we are not making it past, I don't even know, day 95 probably. But let's prepare to scavenge. And the funky roaches haven't really left us. To be fair, they aren't causing too much trouble. They even seem relatively friendly and curious. Okay, so they want me to play. They want me to play some sweet tunes. I got you. And they gave us one soup and one water. Yes! Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So we are going to send out Dolores. And she's 100% coming back. So if she doesn't, I am going to talk to those freaking mutants. And the gang of thugs are back. So I'm going to use that one more time. And then we have the gun. Then we have the mutants. And then we are going to take a fat L. Day 94. If there's one sure way to get our attention, it's definitely banging on our shelter door. Whoever it is, they're quite persistent. They've been at it for the past five minutes. Should we open? Yes. Maybe we'll get something. I don't know. I don't want to get rescued, though. This is on easy mode. So maybe they're like, you know what? These bitches never got rescued on easy mode. So we're just going to let somebody rescue them. And it was nobody. Wow. It was somebody pranking us. Why the hell would you prank somebody in a bunker? And Dolores just came back on day 96. What is it? She brought back a med kit? Holy crap. Okay. And two soups and a water. Awesome. All right. I'll take that. I think I'm going to send out Ted because I want to. The bandit camp nearby is causing a lot of trouble. Not only are they armed, dangerous, cruel, and bloodthirsty, they're also loud and obnoxious. We respect their right to party, but not at the cost of our beauty sleep. Something needs to be done, and I'm the thing that's going to be done about it. I think that kind of drives away the raiders, right? Please tell me that does. Because the gun just broke, but we got an axe. We bravely stormed into the camp, screaming insults and threats at the top of our lungs. Sadly, there was no one there to appreciate our courage. It looks like the bandits went raiding and left the camp empty, thinking no one would dare get close to it anyway. But not us. We fearlessly collected whatever we could from the supplies and courageously ran back to the shelter. We think it's the ultimate proof that we're not in danger. We are the danger. Fear us. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send out Teddy Boy. Hopefully, he brings back some good shit. Because Dolores is going to be all by herself if he never comes back. And we can't have that happening, right? And a band of raiders are at our doorstep. So they actually never went away. So that's our last line of defense right there. Besides the people with the mutant arms. So we're at day 100. And hopefully, Ted comes back with some good stuff. Because I need some clutch shit to happen right now. Like, I need the most clutch shit that has ever been clutched before. When emptying our bucket in front of the shelter, we discovered a hastily drawn map on one of the ruined walls. Someone drew out a route and marked a spot at the end of it. Maybe there are supplies hidden there. Should we check it out? Wait, no, I can't. Because then the shelter's not going to be occupied. Yeah, that might have been a big mistake if I went out there. Yikes. Good thing I did it. Day 103, everybody. And Ted still hasn't come back. He's getting me worried. Please come back, buddy. Please come back. So, we don't have any supplies. 
But the mutants said that they would help us. They said that they would help us. And now it's day 104. So we only have a couple more days to live. And Ted's dead. Ted is dead confirmed. I don't even know what to do, everybody. This could be it. I don't want to survive this many days. I want to survive like 200 days. Come on now. Today during breakfast, we were startled when our map slid up the wall. We checked the nails holding it, but they were all firmly in place. It could be a poltergeist. Maybe we need to perform an exorcism to get rid of it. Anyway, in the wall behind the map, we discovered some sort of safe. We're curious as to what treasure might be inside. Should we open it? Please be a freaking RPG or something. Anything. Please, I'm begging you. I need this to be clutch. No, it's not clutch. We're so dead. We got cards. What am I going to do? Throw them like ninja stars at them? I'm dead, everybody. I'm so dead. <laughs> this is bad. Day 107. Come on, at least day 150. Give me that at least. Wait, we were able to tune into some survivalist lady who was hosting a Let's Use program? She was evaluating a rifle she obtained just before the bombs fell. It turned out it was similar to ours. And with her tips, we were able to repair it? What? That is clutch as shit. That is so freaking clutch, and the raiders came! Let's freaking go! Come on, I need more clutch shit to happen. I can't keep fending off these damn raiders. They are on my ass like stink. And it said we were able to fight off the bandits this time, but there's no guarantee they won't come back. We need to be prepared at all times. And that spare ammo we brought came in handy. Oh. So I used the gun, and then if I had the spare ammo, I could use the gun twice? That's actually dope. Day 110. And I can use the gun one more time. So I need more clutch things to happen from now until then. Please. I'm begging you, game. Like, give me a good scenario. Wait, 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 wait. Today we were visited by a strange-looking little man who introduced himself as a trader. He insisted his prices are so low that it's practically like cutting his own throat. The least we could do was take a look at his offer. Although for some reason we don't really trust him. We can get the freaking thing for the map. I'm so happy. This is at least three more times the raiders come where we can actually fend them off. I'm so happy. I cannot believe that we got that. Yep, look at this, everybody. Day 112, the thugs are back outside. Let's play that sweet music. And then we still have the music and we still have the gun. So two more times. And hopefully some good scenarios happen between now until then. I'm happy right now. <laughs> Wait, we lost it? Only one time? Why? Oh, that doesn't even make any sense. Day 116, and the thugs came back. That's my last line of defense, everybody. So I need to get a weapon to protect myself from now until then. Because this is bad now. This is real freaking bad. And I'm sad. And I don't want to do that scenario. Oh, I went from happy to sad to happy to sad to mad. Wow. It's only been two days since then. And now the freaking people are back. That's so dumb. There's no way. They came back every couple. Wait, what? What just happened? They came back, but what happened? The invaders burst into our shelter like a violent tidal wave and immediately went for the one thing that was the greatest of value to them, our canned food stockpile. They grabbed as many cans as they could and left. They could only grab two? Freaking dorks. Hopefully, all they want is like the soup and the water because I have a shitload of them. And that can help me last a long time. Because I want to survive as long as we can, everybody. So let's see. Let's see if they just take the cans in the water. No! Ah! Come on, just take the cans in the water, dudes. That sucks. Okay, we survived for 121 days, right? Damn, man. Okay, everybody, I'm playing this again. And I made it back to day 118. But I think I'm pretty much going to die here, right? No? I'm not. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna die anyway, so I'm just gonna go out and scavenge and beat my previous score because I only made it to like day 119. So now I can actually just get Dolores and go outside and I'm pretty much gonna get a game over, right? So day 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and I'm dead. Yep, we made it to day 124. Hey, that's a new record for me, I'll take it. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for my attempts at trying to survive for as long as I can. I do wanna try this again, though, because I wasn't satisfied with that, and I know for damn sure that I can survive many more days than that. Things just have to perfectly line up for me, and I have to get extremely lucky. So I will be trying this again soon. If you want me to try this out again in another episode, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. 
can tell a friend today that Jay from the Cove Scouts is that dude! <laughs>